Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, we're harvesting. My granddaughter and my husband are harvesting from our garden. I was busy doing something inside, and then I said, oh, I need to share it with you guys so you guys can see. So I'm coming out. Another container of tomatoes. Uh-huh. And I'm coming to show you guys. I showed you guys. I don't know if I've uploaded that video yet at the farm with the garden eggs. But guys, I'm coming here now to show you the garden eggs. The tomatoes. There's a lot of tomatoes, guys. A lot. I did not get out here. It's been two days that I knew I had to come and pick tomatoes. And I couldn't get out here. The one day we went to the farm and yesterday... Uh, something happened that uh, took some of my time. I can't even remember what it was now. But I wanted to show you guys the garden eggs. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a big one right there, guys. Garden egg. And this is the purple flower. So I thought it would have the purple streaks on it, but it doesn't. I think maybe when it grows a lot, it's supposed to have the purple on it. Like these other garden eggs. Let's see, these were the white flowers. It's still kind of greenish. There's some white ones. Uh-huh. So I think the white flowers will be yellow garden eggs and the the purple flowers are going to be white. You see, there's a lot, guys. So that's what the garden egg looks like. So after the flower, the garden egg will come. I guess this is the start of it. So, like I told you in a previous video, look at the weeds, guys. Look at the weeds. There's a plantain. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. Um, we had a sad day at the mini farm too, guys. The uh, Subine muscled her way into the pen down there and killed two guinea fowl and a rooster. She sure did. Looking all innocent, like her innocent self. But I guess that's what she does. I mean, she's a dog. So dogs do that. But we've been very, very careful up to this date. She has been known to kill chickens before. And now we experienced it. Only she got guinea fowl. So we were able to catch her before she ate them. And uh, yeah. So she's in timeout right now, guys. She's in timeout. Mm -hmm. So we had to take care of that. And I was in cleaning up after all that. Um, we also lost baby Dalmatian girl because she's been sick. We haven't been able to um, really get her well. She's been having um, runny diarrhea and then... We call the vet, they give her medicine, she gets better, she gets it again. The same thing over and over. It's been like that for a while now. We've been really working with her. And um, last night, for some reason, she was crying a lot. And yeah, this morning, she couldn't make it. She couldn't make it. So it was a really sad day on the mini farm. Guys, we got one red pepper. this bush we got a red pepper there yep we got garden eggs so we're very thankful our helper is real oh there's another one so 
So our helper has been really busy lately. He hasn't been able to come and do much around here. So hopefully when he finishes his job, he will be able to get here and help us with this weeding. We just have a lot going on and we're not able to keep up with it. That's why we hire somebody. But unfortunately, he's been pretty busy. So he hasn't been able to help us. And that's what's going on. Let me take you guys for a little walk. Yeah, we lost and we lost two guinea fowl and one rooster and baby Dalmatian. All in one day, guys. That was, uh, that was a pretty big blow. Pretty big blow to the mini farm. But look at that cutie. Look at that cutie cuter. Isn't she too cute, guys? Look. Look at her drinking her milk. Maryama. Maryama. Maryama is such a good mama. So yeah, guys, that's what happened. Subain came down in here and um, it was really, really sad. You can see the, the struggle. Um, my husband swept this morning and you can see the struggle right here. Yep. So that's what happened. It's a very, very sad day. So we're going to make sure that we get the gate more secure. And you see here, really, really was a struggle, guys. They were all over here. And then she brought the, there's the guinea fowl, was a little bit upset. I think it was the two females. So the male is by himself, just like the male turkey by themselves now. Yep. So it's really a sad day, but we still are blessed. We are blessed, I guess it happens. And the dogs, I mean, that's just their nature. That's what they do. They didn't go after the baby sheep, I don't think. I think they just went after the birds. And guys, guinea fowl, The guinea fowl are very fast too. So I don't know. I don't know. They couldn't run very fast, I guess. She was faster. They have two legs, she has four. That's what happened. That's what happened. Mama's still in here laying on the eggs. I don't see how many she has right now that she's laying on, but. There she is. Mm -hmm. And the roosters are out. So the rooster Subain got was one of the bully roosters. And um, yeah, we don't have any chicks here anymore in quarantine. The roosters are out. So we have four white roosters that we let out. Two escaped. I think my husband was feeding them, and then he said, well, maybe it's okay for them to be out. We let them stay out. And then, well, there's the other two. One is back over here, and one is there. And then we have two right here. So after the two got out, we watched them for a few days, and then this morning we decided to let the other two out. So the rooster that Subain got was one of the bully rooster gang roosters. Yep. So my husband was able to process them, the guinea fowl and the rooster. Subain ate about half of the guinea fowl, not quite, somewhere. And the other one, she had just killed it. And then the rooster was just laying here dead so I don't know, um, I don't know how that ended up happening, but anyway, we weren't here to see it, but now we, um, 
we'll make sure everything is more secure and Mr. Guinea fowl is all by his lonesome again, just like Mr. Turkey. Sorry guys. So that's what we got going on. Mariama is such a good mama, guys. She's such a good mama. Look at her. Look at her. And she's very protective. It was raining this morning and she had her baby on the other side of here. She had her baby right over here, laying down. You see where it's dry? And she was standing right up against her baby. So she had the baby laying here. Mm -hmm. She's such a good mama. Chickers are doing well. Chickers are doing well. We're going to change their sawdust um, in the morning in the middle where the drinkers are. Because it got a little bit wet. But yeah, chickers are doing well. And that's what's going on here at the mini farm. We got some more eggs being sold. Um, we have 13 crates left so far. And 10 of those crates have already been paid for. So... People were coming to buy in bulk, but now that word has gotten out in the community. People are coming one by one to buy eggs. So that's a blessing. So we got eggs for sale. We still have a little bit of the plantain that we're selling. Um, if not, we'll put it in the freezer and eat it ourselves. So yeah, that's what's going on here at the mini farm. It's a sad day, but we're still thankful and we're grateful to God for all that he has done. We're still watching mama. We're watching baby girl's mama. We're watching this, these two mamas. This one looks like she's getting a little bit big. And this is baby girl's mama, I believe. No, this is the other mama. This is the other mama. That's baby girl's mama. Because she always runs from me. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell the two of them apart. But yeah, this one always runs from me. Baby girl's mama runs from me all the time. I don't know why. Baby girl doesn't run from me. But this mama, we're watching her too. She seems like she's pregnant, but she's not as close as baby girl. Mama. Baby girl. She knows her name, guys. Baby girl. Look at baby girl. Look at baby girl. You got a pee? Sister. That's not nice. You're jealous. Behave yourself. There's baby girl's mama. So that's what's going on down here at the mini farm. I wanted to give you guys an update. I hope you're enjoying the farm footage. I still have several videos that will be coming out about the farm. So stay tuned for those. Stay tuned for those. And um, yeah, I wanted to run out here real quick and get you guys the harvest from the harvest from our garden and show you so that's how it is need a lot of weeding done in here if we don't get it soon i guess we'll be working on it ourselves but yeah papaya tree is still flowering but that's the update guys that's the update yep so we had to clean up the the mess and get everything taken care of and the dogs are on punishment right now they need to stay in their house for a little while peace was part peace was down there but i don't think peace killed any animals i think it was all subine because peace got stuck in there and 
was standing by the gate to get out. So she wasn't chasing animals or eating any animals, but it was Subine. So, yeah. She was known to eat chickens way back before we came. So I guess that's what we got to look forward to. We have to make sure the gate is more secure. And the mango is still there. It hasn't changed much. It just got a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm trying to get it for you guys. I don't want to get by these ants. There we go. It's kind of small still. I don't know if you can see it. I'll have to get all the way down here, I guess. See? Mm-hmm. So that's what's going on. Um, yeah, a little bit of a sad day. It's a little sad to lose a bunch of your animals on one day, but um, yeah, that's what we got. We give glory to God in all things because he knows what's best. Baby Dalmatian, it seemed like she was really struggling and last night I really felt for her because she seemed like she was hurting but we didn't get the chance to call the vet back today like we wanted to and get him to come back by and see if there was something else that he could do I think it was something more and you know those kinds of things unless it will cost a lot of money for you to um, actually do a surgery or an autopsy or something to find out what actually happened. So we just leave it at that and give glory to God in all things and move forward. Um, yeah, I'm trying to look here for the, the soursop that we were watching seems like it's not here now that's what it seems like is happening guys it gets to a certain point and then it just dies and falls off so i don't really know what's going on with the soursop it has a lot of new growth which is a blessing but you see this that's how it starts looking and then before you know it it will be off you won't be able to see it again. This is one, two. See how it does? Then the stem dies, and then the, it falls off. Yep. So we'll try and... We're just going to hang in there, guys. We're hanging in there. This is part of running a mini farm. We're going to try and find solutions where we can and do better. Um, if there's something we can do to do better, we'll do better and learn. But I was blaming myself a lot when the animals would die in the beginning. I really, really took it hard. I was blaming myself, but it's part of life and it's part of raising animals. So we thank God for all things and give him glory. And yeah. We're just going to move forward. We're not looking back. We're moving forward. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go at that. Till next time, God bless you.